Well, good morning and uh, want to welcome you to a very beautiful day to celebrate our citizens and the city. Uh, thank you all for coming out today. Uh, as we reveal the results of our annual report from our uh, residents, our report card from our residents. Our theme this year is the Big 20. And the key statistic that we want to focus on is the 20 percent point percentage point uh, increase over four years in the citizen satisfaction with the city's image. That's a pretty big deal in my opinion. Citizen satisfaction with the overall image of the city has jumped from 36 percent to 56 percent over the past four years. That is the fastest increase we've ever seen in the category, and it's now the highest level ever recorded for this particular statistic. I think that deserves a round of applause by itself. Thank you. Uh, with the theme of the Big 20, uh, we thought we would also show you about 20 signs of the improvements that we've actually seen. So I want to take uh, take a look at the signs that are coming forward to join us, the parade of signs here. These are actual quotes from residents over the past couple of years. These residents who have seen improvements in customer service, who've written or tweeted to say thanks or deliver a pat on the back to a city worker. These signs are being held by city workers from the departments and divisions and the programs that have been recognized for their extraordinary service by the residents of this city. You'll hear from some of them in a moment, but first I want to bring up our city manager to help us drill down on the numbers that illustrate the Big 20. Troy? Mayor, thank you. Uh, data combined with public input drives decision making at City Hall, and that's a credit to the mayor and city council for demanding that of their city staff, and I'm, I'm pleased to say we're, we're responding to that and it's showing in our results. It allows us to implement city council priorities in a way we can measure. We hear from residents all the time, every day, all day long, as they give us feedback about what they like and what they don't like about our performance. Today, let me explain more about the Big 20. Again, the statistic is a 20-point jump over four years in the satisfaction of city residents with the overall image of the city. In four years, we've gone to, from worst to first in that category. Our number crunchers say that the improvement is tied to a steady rise across many different categories related to customer service and the increased satisfaction with the overall delivery of city services. Now let's drill down into some of those key statistics. In the category quality of services provided by the city, satisfaction is 56% and now exceeds, and this is important to me, national benchmark by six points of cities of 250,000 or more residents, which when we compare ourselves nationally, we're leading the pack. We believe the Water Services Department has made great strides in customer service and response times. Veronica Childress from Water Services is here to wave hello. She works with the pipeline operations. Where, where's, oh, there's Veronica. Um, and they have made phenomenal improvements in the Water Services Department. So the, it's not your old Water Services Department, it's the new improved Water Services and it's the quality of work that Veronica is providing and a thousand people like her every day to make this city better. While we want to uh, want residents to see a quick response as a matter of normal operating procedure, but we know it sometimes can be a surprise. Uh, Laura Lynch had a water problem and was so worried that sh she started to uh, reaching out to anyone she knew at City Hall, even people in other departments. But Water Services was on the scene taking action almost immediately. Laura tweeted out her thanks and she is also here holding a sign with one of her comments. Laura, if you would, please come up and say a few words. Thank you. It's true, we had a really bad problem. It was a big problem and it was scary as a resident and you don't really know where to turn. I live in Brookside Waldo where all the pipes are old and not so great because they're old. Um, our big problem came with a big surprise though because when we had our contractor come out, they needed to work with the city and they said, well, that could take a while. It didn't take a while. Immediately there was help on the scene from the water department. Then we needed more help. We needed some more experts to come in and they said, well, that's probably gonna take a while. It didn't take a while, it was immediate. And then we had to have the engineering technician come out and they said, well, that's gonna take a while. It didn't take a while, immediate. It was amazing. My contractor was in awe. And then it's not a one-time deal because several weeks later, the main part had to be replaced too. 
And again, the city came out, they got it done, they took great care of us. It was kind of surprise times too. You know, you think, gosh, can lightning strike twice in a good way? And it did. And uh, it makes me proud to live here. It's a great city and uh, we're lucky and you guys are doing a great job. Just a great job. Thanks. Thank you very much, Carol. Appreciate it. Laura, I want to thank uh, Laura for coming out today. We appreciate her recognition of the city's improvements. Uh, to keep drilling down, it's a beautiful summer day, but let's talk a little bit about snow and snow removal. Uh, we've worked very hard to improve snow removal on both the main streets and in the neighborhoods. And I want to tell you that uh, 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 being up close and personal, I can tell you that there are several components to that improvement, but one of them is standing right over there in the city manager, a person who's not afraid to innovate and a person who is not afraid uh, to get his hands dirty and getting the job done. The satisfaction with snow removal now exceeds the national benchmark for large cities. Uh, we have have some folks here who have driven uh, plows in the past. Among them is James Nelson. James, you here? James has driven snow plows in the past. Uh, although he works for the water department, we have snow plow dryers who work for uh, several departments and do this after their normal duties or during the day when they could be doing something else. They're out plowing snow in this city. One of our signs even thanks a police officer for giving somebody a speeding ticket uh, because he was so professional and engaged in a conversation with a child who was in the car. Where's that sign at? There it is. Hold it up. That's Officer Whipple back there. Thank you, Officer Whipple. He's the one that gave the ticket. I'm glad it wasn't to me, but thank you <laughs> nonetheless. And uh, you've probably seen some pretty good videos, some pretty hilarious videos that in light of what's going on in other parts of this state are really very poignant. And that is uh, our police officers playing basketball on the streets with some of the youth in the core. Uh, the dance off uh, that was on and went viral uh, of a police officer dancing with kids in the core. Um, we have, uh, I've talked to Troy, we are putting together a small pot of money to get him to Arthur Murray for some dance lessons, but the effort was certainly there. These are the things that add up to a four percentage increase in police visibility in our neighborhoods over the past year, and it's now up to 51%. So, Officer Whipple, come on up here for a moment, if you would, please, and say a few words. I think it's extraordinary where you can actually write somebody a ticket and get thanked for it. So whatever you're doing, I need some of it. Okay. No, the, the situation, um, I make contacts with people every day, uh, some in good mood, some in bad. Uh, you just try to make the, the uh, contact as painless as possible, but you still have to do your job. Um, that particular day, uh, I was conducting enforcement in a school zone uh, due to complaints, uh, had uh, made the traffic stop, uh, contacted the driver, and she stated she was on her way, to, I believe, to take her uh, son to school. Um, proceeded to do uh, my part of the job. As I came back up, she had advised me that her uh, son, I believe, was autistic, uh, but was really fascinated with... Uh, the uh, lights and the stuff like that. So uh, he wanted to see the, the radar gun. So I took it out and just showed it to him, just to explain it. And she, I didn't realize that that day she told me thank you, but uh, uh, they went on about their way. And uh, I later had gotten the information that she had written a letter and said that really meant a lot to her son, which that really helps us when we have uh, people acknowledge uh, the good work we do and that's uh, that's all I try to do is just try to be that type every day with everyone. Thank you very much sir. Sure. Appreciate it. You know I think that uh, again uh, reflecting on things happening elsewhere it is extremely important that every person perform some small act of random kindness and Officer Whipple certainly didn't have to do anything other than write a ticket and do his job but he went out of his way to be a kind caring individual and to help a child who didn't cost anything but it was certainly something that that child remembers so many thanks 
to our police officers on the street, those who dance, those who play basketball, those who spend time with children. Those are the things that separate us, and those are the things that Chief Forte has done to help make sure that his police department is integrated in our communities. We've been uh, concentrating on providing good customer service across the board. In our regulated industries office, an employee named Rosalind Owens was singled out recently for her top-notch customer service. Rosalind, wave to us there. Where are you? There you are. Put it up there and wave like proud. There you go. There you go. You know, it's you're constantly, people who don't engage in customer service areas, I think, underestimate how difficult it is sometimes to listen to people call oftentimes angry and upset and to handle them in a way that uh, bears uh, good favor on the organization you're working for and Rosalind thank you very much for that so as we uh, as a city we strongly believe in our communications and how important they are and thanks to Chris Hernandez and his team I think we have made some tremendous improvements but we also unveiled a brand new city website earlier this year and the survey survey says eight point jump in the usefulness of the city's website. That's a way that people contact, interact with the city. Hold that sign up there. I love that website. I like that website myself. But that's a way, great way for us to stay in contact with those of our citizens who are connected by the internet. And I want to say many thanks to our website manager, John Hildebrand, for your hard work. Where you are? There you are, John. And now, uh, last, I want to say again thank you to, to our city manager, Troy Schulte. Uh, he's led a team in making improvements in a most difficult setting. I don't care what anybody tries to say. A lot of people never like the way things are, but they absolutely hate change. He's managed to get through that. He's managed to make changes. He's managed to do it in a way that is collaborative and that the people who work in the city are in, on board with. That's no mean feat, and that's a great thing. So thank you very much. Troy, the last word is yours. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, as the Mayor said, uh, this has been across the board. We've seen steady improvements across all of our services. That goes for our parks and health departments as well. Uh, of course, we know that the work's not done. We're going to always keep improving, working to keep improving. And I'm fortunate that I get to spend every day with uh, representatives that you see behind me, 7,500 men and women who are working every day to make this city a greater place to live, work, and play. And the credit goes to them for their work, their efforts, their perseverance. Uh, we're going to keep working at it. We, uh, our residents have asked for more attention to streets, sidewalks, and infrastructure. We're paying attention. We're figuring out a way to make that address those issues. And we also know that codes enforcement has been and will be an important issue for our residents as we go forward. Uh, the annual citizen survey is one of the ways we measure how we, how we are doing. It gives our residents a chance to grade us. And we appreciate their confidence and their support and our efforts. Uh, hopefully they're seeing our efforts and it shows in the numbers. Uh, the media is also invited to the 1 p.m. business session where our data gurus uh, uh, Julie Steenson and Kate Bender, who uh, put this together and track all of this data across 300 different city services, will be presenting this information this afternoon. Uh, it's a chance for us to celebrate the great work that you see behind us, the fact that our residents are taking notice, and the credit goes to each one of the people behind us and all the few, and the other 7,500 people that aren't here today. So, on behalf of the mayor and the city council, I want to say thank you to the great work that they're doing, and we're happy to answer any questions that you may have. Guys, thanks. Fantastic. Yeah.